Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Vakas. The topic which I'm going to discuss today is related to LPG tank sizing calculation and uh, selection. So this is the spreadsheet which I'm going to use for this purpose. So first of all, you have to go to the drawing. So as per drawing, you have to write the area. So let's say we have a main kitchen area and we have to write the main kitchen here and dishwashing area and uh, pastry area so whatever the area in the drawing you have you have to write in here and then you have the description of the equipment like what equipment is installed in that particular area so let's say in the main kitchen we have this boiling pans we have this uh, great combi ovens and then we have cradles so range with the four burner so whatever the equipment kitchen equipment is installed in that main kitchen area as per drawing you have to write in here same for uh, this dishwashing area and same with this one and you have to write the equipment and this is the quantity column so let's say in the main kitchen you have two boiling pans so you have to write two in here and then you have to write the capacity of each equipment that's serving in that area so where did you get this uh, capacities of this equipment you need to get this from the supplier the one who supplied this kitchen equipment you need to get the value from that supplier so he will provide you these values in BTUs per hour this is just a conversion for kilowatt and CFH so and this is the total capacity of that equipment so since we have uh, two uh, boiling pans in here in the main kitchen so we need to multiply this with uh, two in order to get the total capacity of the boiling pans in the main kitchen so one by one you have to write uh, for all the equipments you have in your area so you need to in, in the end you have to sum up all of these capacities here so before proceeding towards the total capacity of the equipment which we have in here let me tell you one thing the uh, LPG which we are using here is 100% propane so all the values which I have used in here which is uh, heating value of the LPG which is propane and uh, 1 gallons of LPG propane and specific gravity of propane so uh, LPG it could be a mixture of propane and butane or it could be 100% propane so it totally depends on country to country so every country is using different uh, mixture so sometimes it's like uh, LPG is a mixture of propane and butane with the ratio of 70% propane and 30% butane or it could be 50% propane or 50% butane so according to the ratio you have to write these values as I told you this is 100% propane so these values are based on 100% propane so as you can see here 1 gallon of LPG propane is 91,740 BTUs per hour this is basically the heating value of propane and uh, one gallon of LPG propane is weigh is about 4.23 lbs and specific gravity of propane at 15.6 degrees Celsius is 0 0.508 in liquid state. So these values we will we are going to use when we do the calculation. So as I told you, we need to sum up all the capacities which we have in here or here. So I have sum up all the uh, capacities here which is approximately equal to that much to a 26192 BTUs per hour before proceeding towards the calculation let me just tell you about the channel membership and the benefits which you will get if you will join YouTube channel membership on MEP engineering tutorials if you guys can join the channel membership you will get access if you you just have to go to the channel click this join button so you have to select the level on which you want to uh, to take the material like you can select different levels here so based on your level you will get the required material if you have any query 
related to membership you can just send an email to Said Muhammad W at gmail.com or you can find that email here as well go to the about section you can see the email here or even after taking the membership you have to send an email on the same address to get access to the material you just have to send an inquiry email and you will get the access to the material so brand total is that much in BTUs per hour, kilowatt and CFH now we are going to apply the diversity factor on this total capacity so uh, they, it's not a uh, there is a probability that they are not going to use all of the equipment at the same time at 100% obviously some of running at some time and some are off so we are going to use some diversity factor in here so we are going to use uh, normally we keep 80 to 85 uh, percent diversity factor because uh, not all of them going to be used at the same time so let's change this to 85 we keep diversity 85 so since i change this to 85 this value will be multiplied with 0.85 and this is the capacity which we got in here in BTUs per hour kilowatt and cfh now we have to write the number of hours the daily operation for all of these equipments so let's say this is uh, this all equipments are going to be operate 10 hours so you need to multiply uh, this capacity with 10 you will get uh, total capacity for 10 hours so total capacity for 10 hours and uh, next thing we have to write here is the storage like how many days we are going to store this LPG so I'm going to store the LPG for 7 days so it could be 15 days 30 days it's entirely up to you how you want to do the calculation but one thing you need to keep in mind that if you are increasing the number of days that means you are increasing the tank size or you are increasing the number of tanks in which you are going to store the LPG so other thing uh, there are two factor one is that you are increasing the size and second factor if transportation charges are less for you then you can keep this storage days less so that would be more economical if uh, transportation charges are high so you can increase the number of days for the storage so it's entirely up to you whatever is economical you can do that so i'm going to write seven days in here storage as i told you the propane heating value is uh, 91740 btus per hour so required lpg volume we will calculate in here so you just need to divide this total storage for seven days and operation for 10 hours with this value propane heating value so you need to divide this value with 91740 which is the heating value of the propane so required volume you will get here is 1833 gallons which is approximately equal to 7 cubic meter so now we will get the uh, way how much weight of the lpg which we are going to store in here as I told you, one gallon of LPG propane is 4.23 LBs. Let me just remind you one more time. This is for propane LPG. If you have a mixture of propane and butane, so this value will be changed. So this is 100% propane, so it's 4.23. So resulting weight will be how much? We got one gallon of propane equal to 4.23 and we got total volume of 1833 you just need to multiply 1833 with 4.23 you will get the total uh, weight will be 7754 lbs which is equal to 3525 kgs so this is for seven days if you need to get it for per day you just need to divide this wise with seven because we keep the storage for seven days so per day it will be 503 kg per day and for per hour it will be 50.4 kg because we kept 10 hours daily operation so 50.4 kg per hour is the requirement for the lpg now next uh, important thing over here is uh, we need to select the tank water capacity 
since the LPG tanks are coming in the water capacity form. So what is basically the water capacity? So water capacity is basically representing the capacity or size of the LPG tanks if it was filled with the water. So if you see here in the drawing, this is the LPG storage tank which we have in here. This is just uh, an example to show you. Uh, this is the schedule you can see in here LPG tank schedule and uh, you can see the uh, nominal LPG capacity in kgs is 1000 and uh, water capacity is 2 to 50 liters so it's coming in the form of uh, uh, water capacity so this is just an example to show you so let's say we are going to select uh, so according to the catalog you have to select the uh, uh, so from the approved supplies catalog you can select this tank water capacity so i'm going to select uh, 1300 gallons for this one or so according to that now i have to calculate the maximum allowable gallons of lpg that can be stored in the above selected tank so this is the formula which i'm going to use v is equal to d into c divided by 100 into g into f so d is basically the filling density in here lpg filling density c is basically representing the container water capacity which we have selected here is 1300 gallons and g is basically representing the specific gravity of lpg propane at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and F is basically the correction factor if LPG is stored at temperature other than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, if we, uh, we know all the values we are going to put in here uh, since I told you D is the filling density. So filling density for the LPG tanks which we normally keep is 80%. We are not filling 100%. We are keeping 100%. 80% uh, is the filling density for the LPG. So we are going to use 80 in here and C is the tank water capacity which we selected here is 1300 and 100 and then we have G is the specific gravity as I told you specific gravity of propane is 0 0.508 at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and F is the correction factor which is 1 because it's stored at 60 degrees Fahrenheit so now we can calculate the fuel allow per tank how much is the fuel allow per tank so put all the values and you will get 2048 gallons per tank is the fuel allowed which is equal to 7.8 cubic meter if you see the required uh, lpg volume is 1833 which is less than our uh, allowed fuel allowed per tanks so how we will get the number of tanks you will get the number of tanks if you will divide your required uh, volume divided by allowed volume per tank so you will get 0.9 in here that means we need one tank for the storage in here so if you change the tank capacity uh, you can change this one and you will get uh, maybe more tanks in here so if i'm going to change this to according to the catalog so you have to change. let's say i have this catalog and i'm going to select from here let's say i'm going to select 865 gallons in here so 865 gallons if i select you can see that the volume we see that here is 1833 and allowed is less so that's why tank is 1.4 so if you see that required fuel storage capacity is not met because we need 1.4 tanks so we have to change this to 2 so that means we need two tanks of 865 gallons water capacity to store that much lbs that much gallons of lpg which weigh around 3535 kgs so it uh, so whatever the value you will select in here you will get the number of tanks here accordingly so this is how you can do the lpg tank sizing calculation and you can select the number of tanks accordingly so i hope you guys learn something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you bye bye